So today, we're going to be checking out Ethergazer. This is a gacha game that was only available for CN for the longest time. But now this game is finally available for global. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the characters, the gacha system, and the gameplay mechanics in this game. Because I feel like these aspects are the most important for many players. But before we begin, I do want to mention that this video is sponsored by Bluestacks. They have been a long time supporter of this channel because I really like using their emulator. Bluestacks makes it easy to play mobile games on PC because they have features like eco mode, highly custom customizable controls for both keyboard and controller, and also a multi-instance feature that will really help you in re-rolling accounts in different games. So if you want to try out Ethergazer on PC, definitely make sure to download Bluestacks using my link in the description below. I can't recommend this enough just because of how good the performance is. With that being said, another big shout out to Bluestacks, and now let's begin with the content. So once you start playing Ethergazer, the first thing that you might be curious about are the characters. And as you can see, they have a wide selection of characters which goes from B tier, A tier, up to S tier. They have a ton of A tier characters which are not only good for combat, but they're also good in terms of design. This character is the one that I particularly like because of her design. The glowing horns look sick in my opinion, and not to mention that she has really good physics. This character also looks really good because he looks like he's straight out of Chainsaw Man. And unlike other gacha games that I played, where if you have a character that has a lower rarity, they also most likely have a more uninspired outfit or design. But in this game, the designs for the A tiers are actually really good. I'm a big fan of this one because less clothes. For Osiris, her weapon looks sick. And this character also looks really good, as well as the other sword users in this game. And we also have a couple of male characters. I'm a really big fan of this one because of the physics. And this game just has a bunch of designs that are really cool. So you're most likely to find a character that you really like. Then we'll take a look at the two other characters before we move on to the S tiers. And for these ones, the S tiers are the premium characters that you can get from the gacha. But for one of them, you can actually get the character for free, even as a free to play. So this character Poseidon is like the S version of the character that you have. So every player will have Poseidon in their team, which is A tier, but you also have a chance of getting the S version. And for the next one, we have Okuninushi, which is really cool. It's like, I'm just really impressed about the graphics in this game. Because in other games, the clothes and accessories feel really solid and doesn't really give life to the character. But for this game, adding more flowiness to their clothes actually gives it a nice touch. And for this one, Asura, I was actually able to try her out in the campaign and her playstyle is actually really, really cool. So once I pull on the banners, hopefully I get this one, if not the other characters that I also really like. And next we have this character which has a long ass sword and this one not really a fan just because of personal preference i like using girl characters in my games but you might like this character because of his cool weapon and for this one this is the character i was talking about you can actually get this character for free but i can't remember off the top of my head but after you get to level 30 which won't take very long you can actually save up some currency or materials for this character and you can get her for free not only does she look good but she also has a really good play style and for the next one we have the first limited character in this game not only does she look good but she's also one of the best characters in the game and if i'm not mistaken currently she's the best character so far so if you want to try this game out and maybe try your luck i highly recommend that you try to pull for this character and not only does she look good in this skin, but maybe if you're a dolphin and maybe you want to spend a bit of money, you can actually get this skin which looks really really nice. And maybe if I end up getting her in the limited banner, I might actually grab this one. So now that you have an idea of what the characters look like, we can now move on to the gacha. I will also be doing some pulls, but let's first take a look at the details. So as you can see, you can get an A grade character for every 10 pulls, and you can also guarantee yourself at least one S grade character within 70 pulls. So that's really really nice. Because compared to other gacha games, the PT system is mostly at 90. So this is 20 less, so it's overall really good. And as we scroll down, we can see the rates for the different characters, which depends on the grade of the character. So for S, there's a 1.60% chance. For the A grade, there's a 7.80%. And for the B grade, there's a 6%. So at the beginning of the game, we still have a pretty small roster of characters. So you are most likely to get the character that you want. But before I pull for the characters, the ones that I really like are Asura. I wouldn't be mad if I got her. Sukuyomi. And the Chainsaw Man guy. And without further delay, I'll be doing my pulls on the beginner banner which guarantees an S grade unit within 40 scans. So that's really nice. So for the first 10 pull, here goes nothing. Confirm. And you actually get to slide this. Surely I get lucky. Boom.
We got a copy of her. Chainsaw Man guy. Oh yeah, yeah nice, 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 nice. We, we got this, which is not a character. Another copy of her. So we got three copies of her and we got a new character, which is nice. We'll do 10 more. Boom. Chainsaw Man guy. Oh, we got another copy. Oh, we only got one for this. Wow. I'm curious how the 5 star actually looks like. Keep getting her, huh? Oh, it's Leviathan. That's nice, that's nice. Hopefully we get a sword character, please. A sword character or a Sura. That's the only ones that I like. I will actually cry if I get a guy. Of course this is a 5 star or S grade. Ooh, that's how the S grade looks like. Something good, something good. Asura or Sword Girl, please, please don't be a dude. Please, please. I'm sure it's gonna be the last one. Please. Oh my god, it's a dude. <laughs> At first, I thought this character was a girl, but then I heard the voice. I'm like, hey, yo. Well, I guess I will give him a chance. I will try him out. But yeah, unlucky. I think I have two more. I guess we'll just use this, huh? Nothing good. Oh. Oh, nice. Tsukuyomi. Huge. I'll use her and I'll use the new guy. And then I'll keep the healer on my team. And just a heads up, I'm actually using a controller because this game feels way better on controller. So if you have a controller lying around, I highly recommend that you try this out with a controller. Engage. Let's go. There we go. Boom. He's like jumping around which is really really cool. Yeah, I'm starting to like this guy a lot. He has a way more interesting playstyle compared to the other one. Boom. Healing. Oh, I messed up my combo. I should have used the third skill first. Well, who's this? Goofy Ah, uh, Meta Bane. Goofy Ah, uh, Meta Bane, bruh. Dodge. Third skill. Normal. First. Second skill. First skill. And wait for a mega. Then ultimate. Boom. Ultimate. Boom. Now this part will deal a lot of damage. 9k. Boom. One more. Everything's on cooldown. Damn, unlucky. 
13k. That's insane. That is insane. Yeah, fanboy Kazuo is insane. And for this time, I'll use her. It's a boss immediately. Okay, okay. Dash. Spam this bitch. Let's go. Is the AI doing combos with the guy? Oh, I think he is. Whoops, I did not see that coming. Spam, 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 spam. He's the ultimate. Nice. Boom. Oh no, everything's on cooldown. But it doesn't matter, he's dead. So yeah, that's about everything I have for this video. Hopefully this gives you an idea on what to expect from playing Ether Gazer. This game is very similar to PGR, but the only difference is that this is more on the casual side, which is a good thing for a lot of players that I know. Let me know what you think of this game and if you're trying this out. And also don't forget to check out the link in the description below if you want to play this game on PC. And as always, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.